Welcome to another MP4Nation.net video and review. Uh, today we're just going to do a quick look at the Smart Q Q5. I uh, can't say it's really a new player at this time. Uh, many of you are probably very familiar with it and have even seen other reviews. But a lot of people just ask me to give a review, my own review on this. So I'm just going to take a few minutes and give you my thoughts. Anyway, here's the player. Let me show you the accessories. Standard earphones. Wall charger, USB cable, and like warranty cards and stuff like that, all on the bottom. Uh, basically, your bare essentials, as it were. Uh, it does come with a stylus pen. It actually fits up here. I have taken it out. Uh, just to save some time, I've already started up the Q5, just because, well, the Q5 can take a few minutes to load. Uh, body design, it's a very simple design, not exactly... Um, not very attractive, I would say. The finishing is all right. I mean, basically, this is a very um, budget MID device, uh, and uh, for the budget, you do have a more like um, not as attractive body design and a little bit more crude. But the touchscreen is quite responsive, and it does have a 4.3 inch 800 by 480 resolution screen. Something uh, making videos and stuff like that look very nice on this. So I zoom in a little bit more. Uh, it does run Linux. It runs on a Samsung ARM chipset with 128 MB DDR uh, RAM. But because it does run Ubuntu um, Linux on this for ARM processors, uh, the overall performance is a bit slow. It does work though. I mean, don't get me wrong. You're not gonna. Whoopsie. Let me just get <laughs> before you see like 30 things popping up. The way this system works is that uh, if you click on an icon it opens up uh, the program or the file. Uh, me being a Windows based boy uh, I'm quite used to the double click so sometimes you might see here two or three windows opening up because I accidentally double clicked it. Close that. Uh, it does have a built-in keyboard set to English. And as you can see, this is the English version of the Q5. Uh, it, at when it first, when it originally came out, the Q5 was only available. I go to Smart Q's website. Was only available in uh, Chinese, and you can easily go full screen. Uh, web browsing, I would say, is quite nice, but like most handheld devices, like this, you do really need to wait for the entire page to load to. Uh, properly browse it. It won't be that sm it won't be smooth like you get on your PC. But then again, you know, keep in mind this is a it's using a mobile processor, a very limited speed with very limited memory. Uh, it's not going to function exactly like your desktop. For those of you that are familiar with Linux operating systems, uh, you'll be very familiar with how the Q5 operates because it is you know it runs a scaled down version of Ubuntu. So if you're familiar with Ubuntu, you're familiar with this. If you're familiar with other Linux-based programs, such as uh, you know the PDF reader, the FB as FB reader, and you know Midori web browser, you'll be already you know quite accustomed to what it can do, how it behaves, and you know the little ins and outs and actually getting the best out of the program. Just want to take a time look at the viewing angles. I know there is a lot of glare because I, uh, here, but the viewing angles are very good. I will give SmartQ on this. They did use a very nice screen. They didn't go cheap on that. And and if you're watching the screen go out and cut out, it's because I haven't changed the auto shutoff time for the screen or auto dim time as well. If you click up there, you know, you can get the get the web browser, you get the keypad up. And just delete. And type in address. Let's check out what's happening. BBC. And for the most part of this video review, I'm going to mainly stay on the web browsing and some of the other features like the PDF reader, the ebook reader, and not so much on the audio and video playback. I don't find the audio and video playback on the Q5 or even on the Q7 uh, very attractive. It does have a Wolfenson audio chip and the audio quality is very good, but the interface, the programs that, are, that come with this for video and audio playback, I'm not very impressed with, at least not 
how they perform on this device. Uh, the video playback is probably comparable to what uh, many of many of you people, many of my many of you regular viewers, <laughs> are used to seeing on RK two seven zero six chipsets. And I just click some random link. Uh, Obama tackles healthcare critics. And see, it's it does display the pages very nice, uh, as you would pretty much see it on your own web page. So you're not limited to any mobile web viewing. Now let's go to old. Go to mp4nation.net. Check out how that looks on this. Uh, as I was saying about the video and audio, I'm just not impressed with the programs that are on this. It's not that great to use f for music, you know, and stuff. I guess if you're far more used to, like, uh, the you know the programs on here because if you know I've been using Linux prior to this then maybe you might find it easier to use I did not like it very much and I can't really recommend this as a audio or video player only if you want to use it for web browsing and stuff hey great uh, video playback you will most likely have to convert your files down to lower resolutions than the screen just because the the, the software the Ubuntu software is taxing the hardware you know to the max already so your video playback is usually very choppy and uh, not very smooth However, what we'll say, you know, this does have, because this does have a built-in Wi-Fi, uh, it, and it, it, you can do streaming audio. So your favorite, you can stream your uh, audio radio stations and stuff, so uh, that's actually very good. And also streaming video. Uh, it doesn't work directly with YouTube, but there is a way to get streaming video on this. Uh, the SmartQ forums in uh, China, are, you know, they, have, they, they show how you can do that. Um, I'm too dim-witted to figure it out myself, <laughs> but it can be done. <laughs> anyway, you know, here's the site. Let me just show how the forums look. The, the forums are very nicely laid out because they do fit. It does. I mean, the way the forums are, you know, certain websites they will readjust to the exact screen resolution so like it has in this case so I see pages do load uh, pretty well I do think the pages did load faster on the Chewy W3000 which did use WinCE no nodes loads nicely And yeah, let me just plug the new Nationite Nanite N1 here. It's a very good player. If you wanted a, you know, a better audio player, I would recommend the Nanite N1. <laughs> because it, it's actually a better audio player than this. Uh, look, nice product pages. Woo! Alright, enough of the web browser, because I'm running out of time. Let me just quickly, quickly show you the PDF document reader. Actually... Oops, see, there I go again, doing the double tap. Uh, this is actually a CDR file. It's uh, the manual for the Q5. It is in Chinese, but I guess you get you get a good idea of you know, how this performs. Oops, and let me re-rotate that back. Oops. And it does open up PDF files pretty well. You know, I can just. And again, remember, if you're looking at this, oh, well, it's upside down right now. <laughs> again, I mean, I just want to show you how it can look. Uh, again, you got to remember, if you're seeing this and you know, you're like, wow, that's pretty slow. It's a small handheld device. You know, it's it's got its limitations you're not going to be using this as a substitute for your main PC. Anyway, actually, I just want to show you the FB reader before I run out of time. 
And you got different tools, sound, video, you know, you got SM Place, Santana, Internet, it does have uh, email, you know, your um, RSS reader, it even has a BitTorrent program client built in. Office has Office Word and then go to ebook. Has FB Reader. Uh, so it does make for a good ebook reading. Uh, the Q5 overall, you know, it's a it's a nice well budget uh, MID, UMPC, however you want to call it. Good for web browsing, good for PDF using, you know, good if you're traveling and stuff and you don't want it to lug around even a netbook. It's a nice uh, alternative device which is relatively inexpensive compared to similar products. Anyway, head on over to mp4nation.net to check this out or head on over to our forums to discuss this. Thank you.